Hello, this is a short video about using an Arduino Nano Connect as an inertial measurement unit. So, I have it connected to uh, the USB port and I also downloaded the IDE Sony, which is a very lightweight IDE for using this guy with uh, micro Python. It does also work with the Visual Studio Code, of course, but um, in this case I chose the most lightweight one. So, um, let's assume we have it working like this, uh, mounted like this in a tractor. So, um, you can see the heading is working in general. Um, by the way, I should say that um, here there is a emo from ST on it, uh, so not from Bosch like the BNO, but from ST. But nevertheless, less I guess both uh, companies are have the same leading edge technology. So in f in general, there is no disadvantage. But um, with this guy, you have um, to calculate your angle yourself. You only get the acceleration. So physically you always only get the acceleration but the BNO is doing that job for you and this is not true here. As you can see I've done that here with the Python, Python script and if you turn, so tractor is turning, this uh, one turns as well. And might happen that this is the best way to put it in the tractor. So in this case it's working like this. Or for any reason you have to mount it like this. Doesn't matter. Working as well. So this is about the heading. Of course there is a drift so um, this has to be compensated uh, for example by RTK. When they add RTK data, uh, so, I so I don't think it's a showstopper so far. But what about roll? So yes, of course, it's uh, possible as well. So uh, imagine that uh, the USB plug is uh, the head of the tractor. So um, maybe you didn't mount it absolutely plain, but doesn't matter. So you say, okay, now it's it's plain. So you toggle a button, and this was the zero position. And then you drive with your tractor to a point where the front is a little bit up. And say, yeah, okay, now the front is a little bit up. So, okay, now it's compensated, it's um, calibrated. So, what we know is that this is the roll engine now. In that particular case. Okay, other example. You have mounted it like that. So in that case, again, calibrate the zero position. So it's uh, now it's the tractor is absolutely plain. So you now you move your head up of the tractor like that, let's say, and now it's calibrated for that. So what you see now is that roll is now in that axis, and. Um, you can do it with all the axes you have, so it doesn't matter how you mount this board inside the tractor. Um, it even tolerates uh, some degrees like this, but the axis in general should match to the tractor one. So whatever axis you choose, it shouldn't be like that. So it should be straight, so it doesn't matter if it's that way, that way, that way that way, whatever you imagine that way, but uh, you have to match any of these possible axes and then it, it will work. Um, I should say right now it's just a demonstrator. You see the, the values are calculated, but uh, there is no connections to IO yet. So this is something um, I'll try next. And what's also not done yet is that the uh, calibration values are put into a I square C prom or in this case into the embedded file system of the board. 
But that is something for the next time. So thank you for this time and have a nice weekend.